The music is building. Wait, this over here. <laughs> Wait, this. What? May's lips are like <laughs> reaching forward, like, give me your. Yeah! <laughs> Hello and welcome back to LP And Serena's. LP of It Takes Two. Last episode, we DJed and acquired ourselves a motley crew to be an audience just for you. Me. Serena, I get well, May, technically, is the recipient of said audience. Uh, and here's the fruits of our labor. Audience. She people. sounds so unsure. She's <laughs> terrified. Uh, the performance is now. The time is here, lady. Time to sing. It, it's interesting too, considering the uh, like the orchestra we have, and then the audience—they don't seem right. to be a match for one another. No, very different vibes. Indeed. Look at the vanity. Mate, it'll be fine. Just uh, just think of them all in their underwear. Yes, that would make you relax. Well, let's go. What kind of show is this? Glow sticks don't really wear underwear, and the orchestra is invisible. I would say, I think all the glow sticks are naked. <laughs> Picture them wearing more clothes than they already are. Right. Yes, it does. If it's not perfect, I'll let them down. No, just seeing from your heart. You weren't born to be perfect. You were born to be you. Well said, Hakeem. I liked that. I wonder if you are you gonna have to do any like quick time events or anything for the singing, or is it just gonna be a cutscene? I have no idea. Looks like you're about to play. Oh, it's just you? Can I do anything? It's just me. I'm pressing my sticks and my buttons somewhere in another room. Cody is. You can't seizing. even see anything in this mirror. This it's is a not, terrible vanity. It's not a very good mirror, but it's cute. What's that cassette tape? Demo? Oh, it's the same one. No jumping? No, no, no jumping. No, nothing but walking. Just a somber stroll to the spotlight. Yes. It's the least excitable walk I think she's had all game. Ordinarily, she runs with a little bit more fervor. Right. Gonna have I, to jump now. Uh, something's gonna happen here. Press X. I uh, press. To squeeze through the thing. <laughs> oh, there's Cody. What am I doing? You gotta do something. You gotta work the lights. I'm leaving. Cody's nah. like, this is my chance to ditch her. <laughs> <laughs> For good. All right. Uh, he was going that way, but where did I come from? I want to see. Nowhere. What was my origin? I'm curious. The brick wall. What did I just shimmy up these like a salamander? Maybe you came through the pipes. Incredible. I don't know. Incredible. Or maybe Dr. Hakeem dropped you off here. That's viable. He was flying. It's true. He does be doing that. I'm trying to like dive. You can't dash. do anything. Now you get to experience what I experienced. These people are having a great time really already. You're going to have to do something extraordinarily awful to kill their buzz. Right. Let's turn right. it on. Turn them lights on. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Back to May? Back to May. That works in more ways it's than one. It's gonna be May. Indeed it is. And it is her. Look <laughs> at that. Yeah, nope. Still no jumping. I can just walk the burgundy carpet. This part of the game is definitely more... I think it's a scarf. What's a scarf? What like you're the, on? The carpet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't even turn around. <laughs> Very slowly. I cannot see my face. No, this is like a... I mean, it's, it's essentially a cutscene. That I get to slightly control. Right. Oh, look. They're warming up. Guys. Hello. Are you nervous? I'm nervous. The phantoms. They're All incapable right. of nerves. For they have none. Here we go. Are we ready? I think so. Oh, she doesn't seem ready. Come on, May. Come on, May. Exactly. Do this. <laughs> I believe in you. Come on. What is she singing? They haven't even rehearsed a set list or anything. She's just going to start squealing. Right. She's just going to pick a song. 
Piano Man by Billy Joel. Are we in the attic? I guess so. Again, not creepy at all, right, Rose? Right. That is just sound coming from your Rose is looking like she came home from school this there. So she's been like feeding herself and her parents are just comatose. If I guess. For days now. I guess. It could it could be weeks at this point. Rose is like, this is fine. <laughs> They'll be friends again. <laughs> Let me bring them this record player. Yeah. That mysteriously started making sound. Yeah, mother, it's possessed. Maybe it'll wake you up. I found your favorite song. No, it found you. You can listen to it when you feel better. But not before then. Right. Please wake up soon. I like the frame picture of the cat on the wall. We need more of those. We do. <clears throat> what kind of song do you think she's going to sing? Some sort of death metal. <laughs> I bet she's got a vicious growl. A slow song. The music is definitely giving me death metal. This nice slow intro. It could, it'd be a hard, death Clock incorporates very some of it. Beautiful tune. But again, not quite the vibe for these glow sticks. They I, seem to be loving it. Look at them swaying. They, they do. Vocalizing wordlessly. Yep. Same vocalizations I've been doing. <laughs> hey, she knows seven notes, but she knows them well. Is she giving away her voice to the sea witch right now? What is this, the Little Mermaid? It kind of sounds like it. In a way. <laughs> she is ascending. Ah, it just got louder. They should have given her, like, a little song or something. Right? Or they should have, like, oh. licensed a song for the game. Right. Like Piano Man by Billy Joel. <laughs> you really wanted it to be Piano Man, huh? It could have been great. Now they're going to fuse as one. They will become Modi. What is happening? I just, just still don't feel like they've actually, like, learned their lesson that was beautiful i don't yeah i don't think so either but until this very moment oh hold x to what are we gonna hold each other hold x to fuse oh oh what if i let x go it will be modi i stopped moving <laughs> <laughs> like are we sure about <laughs> it's like, hey hold x you're not doing it okay sorry fine Slowly but sure, surely. We will connect. Eventually. You stopped holding X. I did. I'm unsure if I want to do this. I'm sorry. It's a big commitment. All right. Okay, fine. All, All right, right, okay. There we go. Uh, Hold. Are we smooching? Is that what's happening? I here? don't know. Are we doing that right now in front of the people in public? I don't know. All of these innocent glow sticks. This is not what they paid for. This isn't the kind of show uh, uh, they signed up for. Do, 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 do I want to? Mm, I guess. Look at it this way. Their relationship could be purely physical. It's fine. They, well. They'll still get divorced, but you know, they'll hang out. They'll sometimes. still get divorced. Oh no. They're smooching. I don't want to smooch. Not yet. They're just <laughs> disturbingly close. <laughs> His what is happening right open. now? <laughs> Cody's like, I don't know if I want to do this, this is man. Making me so uncomfortable. I've got a lot of thoughts right now. I've got a the music is building. Way this over here. <laughs> just, what May's lips are like <laughs> reaching forward, like give me your yeah. <laughs> Cody's I like, can... I don't, I don't know, man. Okay, maybe kiss me back. There we go. Wait, 
Wait. Okay, yeah. Hold on, but the toaster. Okay, now the book. Hakeem is like, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Oh, we've done it. <laughs> that was awkward for everyone. All the glow sticks are probably like, what is going on, man? This is not the show we came here for. We wanted to dance. Oh, boy. And fireworks. Is that the glow sticks? Are they exploding? Maybe. I got that excited, huh? They're throwing each other up in the air. Jiminy Christmas. How violent. Well, good so, for them. So them kissing means that they learned how to be friends again? I guess. I mean, I, I don't know. Do you kiss all your friends? Uh, no, actually, <laughs> I don't. Congrats on their newfound physical attraction, though, I should say. Is it newfound or newly rekindled? Sure. Either, really. I don't know. Heels. Oh. Adios. I guess, I guess that's it then, huh? I guess the relationship is fixed. Man, I mean, they did learn some lessons along the way, but I really just feel like... I don't know. They don't seem super compatible on a personal they, level. They needed more time. I think they needed actual therapy, more challenges. to be honest with you. Not some possessed book. I don't know. I really he, think the challenge is them getting pitted against one another sometimes and then working together other times. Are they still going to be physically attracted <laughs> to each other now? I don't know. He's going to be like, oh, you're not made of wood anymore. I don't <laughs> think I can do this. Honestly, I liked how they looked as dolls anyways. I'd grown more used to that. It, it matches their voice. Right, like who are like, these I people? Don't, I don't know this woman. I don't know who that is. Uh -uh. She That's has blue Susan hair. from she down the street. It, She's just staying in our home. <laughs> <laughs> she gotta dye her hair blue and he needs to dye his blonde. Yeah. May. May. It works. Yeah. yeah, we're back. Where's Rose? I don't know. She ran away. You guys have been passed out for three months. She died of starvation. Now apologize to the queen and moon baboon. Yeah. Wait, did she really run away? She's not in her room. She's in the attic. Oh, no. No, she, she got a note. A letter. Dear Mum and Dad, I'm sorry that I did this to you. I know how to make everything good again. She did. All you have to do is stop fighting. Shh. I know I'm not a perfect daughter. Wait, what? I'm sorry I don't like to brush my teeth. I'm oh. sorry I read books after bedtime. I'm sorry I don't put my toys where they should be. I know it's my fault you want to divorce. She's blaming herself. She thinks it's her fault. <sighs> well, you guys haven't really given her a reason to feel otherwise. You should be friends. I love you, Mom. I love you, Dad. P.S. I have my pocket money to buy a bus ticket. Don't worry. I packed a sandwich and a lollipop. Oh, no. <laughs> How old is Rose? Don't forget your lollipop when you go on a long trip. I don't know, like 10? If she thinks that a sandwich and a lollipop will sustain her. She's dumb as rocks, man. <laughs> I'm so sorry. She I'm sorry. But a wee child. You can go home. No. Rose, honey, it's not your fault that we've been fighting. It isn't. No, Rose. It was never your fault. Okay. So, does that mean you can become friends again? Honey, listen, whatever happens, your mom and me, we will always be there for you. And we'll always love you. Always. But we may not love each other. You're right, and that's fine. You guys gotta have a good, to honest conversation with your child. 
Dr. Hakeem. They get to keep him forever. Where did you find this? I found it at school. In a trash can. <laughs> in a trash can. What was she diving through trash cans for? She's just learning the art of dumpster diving she, young. This child is disturbed. It seems like she gets it from her father. Let's go home. It kind of like Cody wanted to take her the opposite direction. So like, we're going. You choose mom or choose me. We're going to go look in that trash can together. <laughs> See if there's anything else cool inside. <laughs> You're right. And that's why I like the hangout. <laughs> Interesting. I used to think you were completely irrational. But I have to say, he still might be. More sense now. I think they're both kind of irrational. Yeah. In some regard. A little bit. The whole gosh darn family. Yeah. And that's that, huh? Okay. No. Well done. That poor vacuum needs some love. So that was a time. I mean, it was fun. Moreover, I have my my own gripes with the story and character development personally. But did you have a good time, Serena? I had a great time playing it. I have probably some similar gripes. Also, like the animation of the people, because it was kind of frightening. Well, to be fair, we are playing on the Switch, <laughs> which perhaps is not the most you know powerful machine. I think this is, game is on. Like all consoles, including PC, Me. so probably the, uh, the the better visual experience there. But you know, what can you say? Do you have any particular, I don't know, mini games, chapters, instances that were the most fun for you? I loved them all because they were all so different. Yeah, that's like, true. Completely different sections of the game where you're doing something that you would never have thought you would be doing. There's a whole, a whole <laughs> lot of different, like, gameplay mechanics that yeah. come and go. I really liked the, uh, like, the Gauntlet Legends, the RPG one or yeah. whatever, when you had the Fire Sword. I, I was about to say, I did have a special attachment to my Fire Sword. It was a great time. Great time. Well, either which way, the entire thing was a great time because I really enjoy getting to do a co-op game with you. It's been a while since we were able to do that, and I greatly enjoyed that. So thanks yeah. for for participating, Serena. I loved it. Thanks for having me. And thank you to each and every one of you for having watched it, whether or not this was, you know, your first episode or your 32nd. Just glad you were here, first and foremost. And an even bigger thank you, too, to those, I don't even know what we're going to call them, supporters, I suppose. It kind of encompasses the YouTube members as well as the Patreon producers. Everyone else who, who just, like, goes above and beyond in supporting the channel, we greatly appreciate you all. Absolutely. And I, I hope that this was a good time in some capacity for you, this walk through this co-op adventure. Uh, more co-op games to come in the future. Can't say for certain when specifically, but we've got a few of them planned. As for what's next, it's back back, back to single player. I'm sorry. I've got to... You're leaving me behind. I'm sorry. I, I'd love to have you, he but... He doesn't want me here anymore. No, don't listen to her. <laughs> don't listen to her. I've just got I've, got, I've got a short amount of time here between the, the next Zelda game I'm going to play. So, uh, I see how it you is. You know, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's how, how it happens. I'm sorry. Playing it without me. I <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I had a great time. I had a great time. And we hope that you, you had, had a great, great time. time. And I guess with that said, thank you so much for watching. We sincerely do appreciate it. And again, hope that you enjoyed yourself. If you did, press the buttons. Yeah, press the buttons, <laughs> dude. Press all the, all buttons, of the buttons. All of the buttons. Especially one the one the with the thumb going up. Yeah, that's a good button. We love that button. You can illuminate it. It's pretty sweet. It's fantastic, really. The UI interface is incredible, YouTube. Anyways, uh, you could do that. Alternatively, you know, just as we have time to kill here, since we're watching the whole <laughs> credits scroll by, yeah, no, the, the stream schedule goes up on Sundays, and then there's also the vlog channel, and yeah, lots of lots of things you can check out if you feel so inclined. If you're even still listening, I always wonder like who's who's still hanging out. Who wanted to also watch all of the credits? all of the credits? Yeah, I think I put a message at the end of the Ocarina of Time one, uh, and like a couple people responded to it in the comments. So nice. it, a non-zero amount of people. I love Watch that. all the way through. Do we have a question for the end of this one? Not yet, but hopefully we will. 
<laughs> by the time this thing ends. That's another thing, you know, because I don't even, what are we looking for? What are we waiting for? Sometimes, we don't even know how long it is. Sometimes the credits just go and they're over. It's like, holy cow, I'm still trying to, like, recap my experience. Right. And then there's times like this where we're done and we're just, we're just chatting. We're looking at those development managers and analysts. It is a big team. The, the, I there's mean, a lot obviously, of people with worked on this. Electronic Arts is a massive company, so ordinarily, I suppose it wouldn't be too terribly surprising that there's a crap ton of people involved. Yeah. Quality. Look at all the testers. There's a lot of... A Huge lot amount of, of QAs. QAs, QVs. I don't forget what QV stands for, but it's in that same general department as Quality Assurance. Pretty... Pretty wild, actually. Holy cow. Yeah. All of these people were involved in this? All tested. Or are these just, like, wh where do they draw the line between involvement and, like, what gets credited and what doesn't? At the amount of hours you put in. Like, as long if you put in at least 25 minutes, you're, you're <laughs> on there or something? Because that was, like, 40 QA testers. That was a lot. Maybe each one had their own section, and you have to have two people in order to test you know, that is, section. That, I mean, that is true. So, like, 20 sections of gameplay. It could be possible. Yeah, I'm sure. Could vary. Well, there's even more. Yeah, more QV people. More quality. For the live. Interesting. Localization. For all of the different countries. See, and that's even crazier to me, too, because you have all of these, like, QA stuff, but then, like, there's three people responsible for the entire translation into French. And, right. Like, how that carries over between, like, because it's not just like, like a direct translation. It's like how the jokes go over, yeah. How it how it specifically relates to like the culture and stuff like that. It's like fascinating. Because sometimes you'll have a game like a Japanese game that's localized in America, and this is not just the case with games, but like anime or anything like that. And it completely changes like the yeah. meaning of like a, a specific scene. And it can be quite hilarious. It's true. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> especially with like. Thinking like anime, like if you watch a, a subbed version of an anime versus a dubbed version, you watch two different shows almost. Potentially, yes. Mark Perez was Hakeem in France. Nice. Am I related? I might be related. Maybe. It's our long lost cousin. Almost Hakeem in almost every language so far has been Hispanic of some sort. Even the German one is Carlos Lobo. I feel like that would make sense. It's true. Just what we got to experience from him. Yeah, I mean, they were definitely trying to incorporate that. I mean, I think Hakeem was my a, favorite character. an identity. Right, 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 right. He is, he's the Hispanic love doctor. I love him. That's what they called me in high school, he's, actually. <laughs> it's true. A, another. And another by they, I mean. Nickname from high school. The janitors. I the didn't, janitors. Yeah. You may need to go talk to somebody about that. It's true. <laughs> Anyways, Hakeem was my favorite character, I think, in the entirety of the game. Yeah. I, I really loved Cutie. The elephant? Yeah. yeah. I did too. I mean, she I didn't... She was so ugh. sweet. I liked Moon Baboon too. It's true. Funnily enough... I fiercely loyal to Rose. I think the characters that I liked the least were, were May and Cody. Yep. And even Rose. I don't really like Rose a whole lot. <laughs> she oh. was a very sweet child. I guess. I, I just... I, I liked the people the least. Yeah. I think. I think that's what that, that's what that's what to be learned here. We are not people persons. I am a people person though, is the thing. Like <laughs> hugely game, so. Not yeah. in this game. Not in this game. That's for absolute certain. Oh, Cody May and Rose, sorry, you gotta goes. Everyone else? You know, it's okay. Ryan Tobacco for insights. That Almost is a very tobacco. interesting. That is fascinating. Thing. I love that. I think we're close to the end here. The we credits have to be. This episode is going to be half credits, half <laughs> the final performance or whatever that was. Literally, I think we're like ten minutes into the credits already. Something like that. It's amazing. Is anyone still here? They put the number seventy-two. 72. If you made it this far, there'll be more comment prompts to come. So you know, don't don't take that as the only one. But anyways, uh, what, what else? What else we got here? What else? What else are you thinking about when it comes to this game? Anything at all? I would. I wish it was longer. Yeah, I mean, I I'll, had a lot of fun actually playing the game. The storyline at times, yeah, but I really enjoyed like the game mechanics and getting to experience it with you and figure out how to get through some of the problems. Well, that's sweet. 
I enjoyed experiencing it with you as well. I enjoy experiencing hey. anything with you. Yeah, it always makes a, it better. When we get to complete games together, it's... That's the only way I complete games. Feeling. It is true. Yeah, <laughs> God, have you... This lady, Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild, she got the Ganon and then just put it down. Like, what are you doing? Single player games. I, I just, don't understand I don't it. How? I lose interest when it's the final thing to do. Like, it's, why? Because there's nothing left after that. And there's nothing left magical. after this. So thanks again. And if you made it this far, you're amazing. You are amazing. That's incredible. Call me your favorite color. Yeah. It's probably purple. It's bad as purple. No, pink. Is it pink? Pink's good. All the colors are great. It's true. There's not a bad one. And we'll see you again next time.